Our guest today for our featured video of the week is uh, Richard Pitts. Uh, this morning in this council room, Richard gave a brilliant uh, presentation about fusion and ITER. And everybody had the feeling that uh, fusion and ITER was uh, very simple. So, Richard, what's your secret to explain fusion in simple terms to the lay public? Well, it's really a question of understanding the basics. When you give public presentations, when you talk to people, you have to know your subject. That's the first thing. You don't need to go into the great details with people. You just need to understand the very simple things. Now, once you've got the simple things and you understand them, then you can communicate them well. But to communicate well, what you need is enthusiasm. You take the enthusiasm, you take the basics, and then what you do is you try to turn the, the more, more complex things into simple things by giving analogies, by bringing the subject down to the level of people who have absolutely no background in the area. But I have the feeling sometimes that uh, fusion sci or any kind of scientist, the more they know, the more complicated it is to speak simply. Because every time you say something simple, you say in the back of your mind, yes, but this is much, much more complicated. So you have to make sacrifices? Yes, you have to make sacrifices all the time. You have to say, I am not going beyond a certain point. I can't get into the details of quantum mechanics. I can't describe uh, all the very complex forces between particles. I just have to say, well, I have a particle. It follows a magnetic field line, for example. It gets hot. They bounce together. They stick. There's a difference in mass. And then that comes out as a difference in energy. And then you have to relate it to simple things. Uh, things that people already know. Uh, try to, to think of analogies, think of a, an etoplasma with 300 megajoules of stored energy equal to a thousand kettles boiled in your kitchen. Or think of the 70 megawatts of power uh, equal to something like 70,000 microwave ovens and things like that that people can relate to. And then try to express, communicate some of the the size, the, the technological challenge, the wonder of the thing that we're trying to do. How, how really difficult it is, but by trying to make it sound simple. Is it fun? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. But unfortunately, there are not enough of us in the organization. We all have technical and physics jobs to do, so we don't have a lot of time for this kind of thing. But if you apply yourself and make the time, it can be a very in enjoyable thing to do.